what is up guys Beranger here welcome to another video if you're new and uh, if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for watching again today I'm going to basically um, show you how to create a Facebook and a Facebook pixel and basically activate it on your website so I have this um, newly created website uh, called AngelaCoffee.com coffee related and tea related product and so I want to uh, place a Facebook pixel on that website to basically track all the events that are happening in terms of page view add to cart shopping or abandon cart so going back to Facebook um, you need to open your business manager this is done through your business manager so let me just do it from scratch actually um, all right so let's say you open your business manager you, you, this is your business manager and then from here if you don't know how to open your business manager then you open it's done via this you open your normal Facebook facebook.com and then on the top right corner you will see a drop down menu like this where you click uh, and then you select either manage ads or business manager if you see that there now once you're here what you need to do is you need to come on this um, whatever option and then come under measure and report events manager and then pixel right and so this is where your pixel will be created that you will import on your website and because I already created one, two, three pixels, right? I that's why you see this. But normally, if you don't have any created pixel, you'll probably see a blank here, or maybe create new pixel. But if you've already created one pixel before, then you need to come here, add new data source, and then click on Facebook pixel, and then from here you can rename it however you want it's up to you and then you need to enter the website that the pixel where the pixel will be inserted and basically where you will track the changes you can create up to 100 pixels with your business account so basically I will click on uh, create so after creating you need to um, somehow import it uh, put it in your website and so you can if if you use WooCommerce which is basically uh, what I use you can manually insert it yourself or you can connect it through a platform so I have never tried this option but I, because I always put that manually let's let's see what it what it gives so if I select WooCommerce. All right, this is turn on. That's cool. Let's continue. This integration is supported for WooCommerce version and above. Uh, let's download the Facebook Pixel extension. So download that somewhere under download. All right. Cool. And then open a new tab you need login plugin okay so continue all right so we've downloaded that let's go back to my WordPress admin page so on your WordPress admin page to basically activate that you, you have well I'll say you have two options uh, let, let's close this because this is not important anymore this is just giving you uh, tips how to do that and so you, you need to follow the steps basically and so let's do it let's do it basically you come under plugins and then add new plugin 
and then under add new plugin you need to come up here and upload plugin y you come down here you will see if you have a plugin in a zip format you may install it by uploading it here so you can just go on your downloaded plugin drag it and plug uh, put it here or you can just choose file and then um, come in here you select the downloaded file and then you click on open and then you install now and then after this I will show you the other way to basically um, do that and so it's still in installing the plugin it was installed successfully now let's activate the plugin and see So now it says uh, Facebook for WooCommerce. Grow your business on Facebook. The official plugin to help sell more product. So you just come on settings, or you can just follow what it says here. Complete the setup steps, whatever. And then get started. So you click next you select the Facebook page and then next 27 products those products will be tracked as uh, as soon as somebody access them either view them add them to cart uh, buys them those events will be tracked so you can retarget those people and so from here you can click on finish setup so you're not ready to create ad online uh, continue it's connected to Facebook already available features so you can add messenger to your website so customer can contact you from here or you can add the product to your Facebook page so people can easily shop um, for now it says there is no activity received so as soon as people will access your site view your product and then add to cart you will receive more events and give it a few hours and then you you will be good so thanks guys for watching if uh, this video was helpful leave a comment below like share subscribe and um, you know join me on my mission to just impact people as much as uh, we can by giving out the best content for free this is this is my mission and so um, until next time take care bye